What is the power law of practice? Simply put, if you think of learning and you've got a figure where you have time on the x-axis and you've got skill on the y-axis, what you'd expect to see happen is improvement. And that improvement typically looks something like this. Now, assuming that you've done a basic level of math, you know right away why we call this the power law of practice. Skill learning does not follow a linear function. And if you think back, you might remember y equals mx plus b. Instead, skill learning follows a nonlinear or power function. And because of that power, due to the shape of this curve, we call it the power law of practice. You also see this in a situation where your performance measure, for instance, uh, imagine error is what you're actually looking at. You would expect early in learning people to make a lot of errors. And as learning progresses, you would expect them to make fewer and fewer errors. And again, this is a power function. So this again is the power law of practice.